Well, once again, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. We started our study this week on uh, coming from Hebrews chapter 5, starting with verse 12. Uh, I'll read the parts that we've already studied. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have need of milk uh, and not solid food. We're going to pick up from there right now today. This is the part I want to talk to you about. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. So this is pretty simple for us to see. If you're unskilled in the word of righteousness, if you're unskilled in the Bible, you're a babe. You're still being fed by the pure milk of the word. Yeah, somebody could be teaching you, maybe a pastor or a teacher or an evangelist or something, but it's time that you sink your teeth into the solid uh, food of the word of God, begin to start to study. If we look at uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, starting with verse 1, um, no, starting with verse 15, be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That tells us that you and I, as workers of God, as those who are promoting the kingdom, those of us who are sharing our faith in Jesus Christ with others, we need to be able to rightly divide the word of truth. We need to have understanding of the word, and we need to be able to show uh, that, yes, this is of God and this isn't of God. We need to be able to show people using the word of God, skilled in the word of righteousness, using the word of God to show people uh, that God is truth, that his kingdom is truth, that his ways are right and we need to abide by him. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says this, for the word of God is living and powerful. See, his Bible is not just a, a, an old book that you put on the coffee table, but when you apply it to your life, it is actually living and powerful. It's different than any other book you'll ever pick up. And so we need to become skilled in that because it is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the um, marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Now, I'd love to teach just on that, but I'm telling you, that's how powerful the Word of God is. And we need to become skilled in this Word of Righteousness. Go then to 2 Timothy chapter uh, 3, verse 16, and it says, All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Now, did you hear that? This is what the Word of God does to you and I. It equips us. It makes us completely, uh, uh, um, it makes the man of God uh, is complete and thoroughly equipped for every good work. We need it. We need the Word of God. We need to become skilled in the Word of Righteousness. And finally, in 2 Timothy uh, uh, chapter 4, verse 2, uh, Paul tells Timothy, he says, Preach the Word. Be ready in season and out of season. Conv uh, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. This is what we're called to do. <laughs> you know, you may not be a teacher now, but you ought to be. And you ought to be teaching the not just the first oracles of, uh, or first principles of the oracles of God, but we need to get to the meat. And how do we get to the meat? We become skilled in the word of righteousness. Amen. We're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.